What if the vast water bodies we overlook could hold the key to solving energy and land crises? India has embarked on a groundbreaking $400 million project to harness solar power on water. The Omgwar Floating Solar Power Park, one of the largest of its kind globally, spans a massive reservoir in Madhya Pradesh. This ambitious 600 megawatt installation is set to produce clean energy for over half a million homes while conserving millions of liters of water annually. With floating solar panels generating up to 10% more energy than land-based systems and reducing carbon emissions by over a million tons each year, this bold experiment could revolutionize the way the world approaches renewable energy. But can this innovative solution overcome its challenges to set the stage for a global shift toward water-based solar farms? Let's find out. India's renewable energy ambitions are nothing short of revolutionary, with a target of 450 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity by 2030 and a long-term vision of achieving net zero emissions by 2070, the nation is positioning itself as a global leader in the green energy transition. But how can a country with vast energy demands and a rapidly growing population achieve such ambitious goals? At the core of this transformation lies solar power, India's most promising renewable resource. Yet, scaling up solar energy isn't as simple as installing more panels. Land availability is becoming a major hurdle. As cities expand and agricultural needs grow, the competition for land has intensified, making it increasingly difficult to set up large-scale solar farms. This is where floating solar technology emerges as a game-changer. Instead of relying on scarce land, why not harness the vast, underutilized water bodies across the country? Floating solar farms on reservoirs, lakes, and dams provide a smart solution, not only conserving land, but also enhancing energy efficiency. Unlike ground-mounted solar panels, which suffer from heat-induced losses, floating solar panels stay cooler due to their water-based placement. Studies reveal that this cooling effect can boost energy production by up to 10%, making floating solar a vital piece of India's clean energy puzzle. One of the most ambitious projects in this space is unfolding at the Amkareshwar Dam, strategically located on the Narmada River in Madhya Pradesh. But why this location? The dam's vast surface area, stable water levels, and proximity to existing energy infrastructure make it an ideal choice. Even more importantly, it allows for an innovative hybrid approach, integrating solar power with hydropower to enhance grid stability and optimize energy output. Spearheaded by Rawa Ultra Mega Solar Limited, Rumsol, the project has attracted key private developers, including Amp Energy, SJVN, and NHDC. Together, they are working to achieve an ambitious target of 600 megawatts of clean energy capacity from this floating solar installation. This is expected to generate approximately 1,314 million units of electricity annually, enough to meet the power needs of over 550,000 homes in Madhya Pradesh. Additionally, the project is part of the National Solar Mission, which highlights the government's vision to harness India's solar potential and transition toward a greener, more sustainable energy future. Floating solar farms are redefining the way we harness renewable energy, seamlessly merging innovation with sustainability. But how does this cutting-edge technology actually work? At Omkareshwar, this vision comes to life in a way that pushes the boundaries of solar technology. Here, solar panels aren't just mounted on conventional ground structures, they float. But how do they stay secure in the face of fluctuating water levels and strong currents? The answer lies in cutting-edge engineering. The solar panels rest on floating platforms crafted from high-density polyethylene, HDPE, pontoons, materials known for their exceptional resistance to UV radiation, corrosion, and mechanical stress. These pontoons ensure the system remains stable and durable while keeping maintenance needs to a minimum. Even in the face of seasonal weather shifts, the floating platforms provide the buoyancy and resilience necessary to keep the solar arrays operational. But floating panels alone aren't enough. 
The entire system needs to stay in place despite the water's movements. That's where an advanced mooring and anchoring system comes into play. Designed to adapt to water level variations and withstand wind loads, this system ensures the panels remain aligned with the sun for maximum efficiency. Elastic mooring technology plays a key role, absorbing environmental forces such as wind and waves, reducing infrastructure strain, and ultimately enhancing the system's longevity. Additionally, the anchoring system helps distribute these environmental forces evenly, ensuring the long-term stability of the solar arrays. Scalability is another defining feature of the Amkareshwar Floating Solar Project. Instead of a single, rigid structure, the system is built using modular segments, each supporting solar panels with capacities of 0.4 megawatts and 0.5 megawatts. But how does all this energy make its way to the grid? A sophisticated cable network seamlessly connects these floating units, transmitting electricity from the panels to onshore substations. Specially designed underwater cables, built to withstand prolonged submersion and environmental wear, ensure a reliable and uninterrupted power flow. Once generated, the electricity is integrated into a 33 by 220 kilovolt network, supplying clean energy to the grid with remarkable efficiency. But even with its groundbreaking potential, the Amkareshwar Floating Solar Power Park wasn't built without hurdles. One of the biggest obstacles? designing a mooring and anchoring system that can withstand the unpredictable forces of nature. With fluctuating water levels, powerful winds, and even the looming threat of floods, stability is everything. And in April 2024, nature put the system to the test. A severe storm revealed weaknesses in the anchoring design, causing damage to parts of the installation. This incident served as a stark reminder. Without precise environmental data and highly resilient materials, floating solar systems risk instability over time. But securing the panels in place is only part of the battle. What about keeping them running efficiently year after year? Unlike traditional solar farms, floating systems operate in ever-changing aquatic environments, facing unique threats like corrosion, algae growth, and debris accumulation. The presence of water adds extra stress to cables, inverters, and panel supports, making maintenance a constant concern. That's why engineers turned to cutting-edge materials resistant to rust and degradation, along with strict maintenance protocols to ensure the system's long-term durability and energy output. And then there's the environment. Floating solar isn't only about generating clean power, it also interacts with delicate ecosystems. While these installations help conserve water by reducing evaporation, they can also disrupt aquatic life. Blocking sunlight may limit photosynthesis for submerged plants, potentially altering the reservoir's ecosystem. Could this actually impact biodiversity in the long run? Some studies suggest floating solar farms may even help curb algae blooms and improve water quality but more research is needed to fully understand these effects. But despite these challenges, the Amkareshwar Floating Solar Power Park is poised to make a game-changing impact. How? By generating clean energy on a massive scale. The project is expected to cut over 1.2 million tons of CO2 emissions annually, bringing India one step closer to its ambitious renewable energy goals. With a 600 megawatt capacity, it has the potential to power over 550,000 homes, proving that sustainability and energy demands don't have to be at odds. Additionally, the cooling effect of the water beneath the panels enhances their efficiency by reducing heat-induced losses. In fact, research suggests that floating solar panels can generate up to 10% more energy than their land-based counterparts. Even better, they help conserve millions of liters of water each year by reducing evaporation, an invaluable advantage for regions facing water scarcity. Plus, by shading the water surface, the project curbs algae growth, improving water quality and cutting down on maintenance costs for the reservoir. The Amkareshwar project is more than a renewable energy initiative. It's a prototype for the future of sustainable energy. With 278 megawatts already operational and plans for further expansion, it showcases India's ability to embrace innovative solutions to address pressing energy needs. Floating solar technology holds immense potential, not only for India, but for the world. 
Globally, water bodies like reservoirs and dams could host floating solar farms capable of generating substantial clean energy. In fact, research indicates that if just 30% of the world's reservoirs were utilized for floating solar, they could generate enough energy to power 62,000 cities, twice the total power consumed by the United States each year. As costs decline and technology evolves, floating solar farms could become the cornerstone of renewable energy strategies. They offer a unique synergy of energy production, water conservation, and environmental stewardship. Countries with dense populations and limited land, like India, are perfectly poised to lead this transition. So, can floating solar truly transform the way we harness energy? The Omkarashwar Floating Solar Power Park answers with a resounding yes. As the sun rises over its shimmering panels each day, it illuminates a path to a greener, more sustainable future for all. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to stay updated on our latest content.